CataractCoach.com, the press and roll technique for DMEC. Press the center cornea and roll up the DMEC graft using a special air bubble. You're going to like this technique. This is very interesting. Now, you can see here this patient has granular dystrophy. The patient's already had a vitrectomy, makes it more challenging, very deep AC, already pseudophagic. Here is taking off the decimase layer. There it is. OCT confirming in all quadrants here that you've got a complete removal there. So you strip that off. And now this is the neat technique. You get the graft inside the eye. And we're going to use an air bubble. This is something I haven't seen before. Now, I'd love to hear from our DMEC experts. Jack Parker, where are you? Leave a comment below. So here you go, putting the graft inside the eye. Now, very importantly, don't let it come out that made incision. So flatten out the eye here, hold down that incision. Ah, oh, I like this idea too. I definitely want the suture of the incision. So let's confirm that the graft's in the correct orientation here. It's all rolled up, obviously it's stained with tripan blue dye. And once you're confirmed its positioning here, the trick that this surgeon's gonna use is obviously pressing the center of the cornea down, so flattening the AC, you get a nice flat, flat AC here. It's more tricky in these post vitrectomized eyes. Now, here you go. Your graph's in the correct orientation. You just need to get this air bubble. Watch this. It's going to use an air bubble on top of the graft. Look at that. A small air bubble there. And this is what is called the press and roll technique. So again, using that bubble to watch this, you're going to press the center of the cornea down. And you're going to use the bubble and push the bubble around circumferentially to cause the graft to unroll and get in the right position. Look at that, the bubble's going around and around using that, and that is so clever. That is just fantastic. And again, keeping the center of the cornea pressed, and now look at that, rolling the bubble around to help open up that graft. So press and roll technique. Once that's done, you can take that bubble out and put your final big bubble underneath the DMIC graft and then confirm its positioning with OCT. Wow, that is just a brilliant technique. Not something I've tried before. What do you think? Please leave a comment below. Here's post-op day one, which looks great, and post-op month one, even better. Now, if you're learning DMEC like I did, this is the video that I made courtesy of Dr. Peter Veldman, a true expert in this case. It's video number 615. We're going to play it again for you here just so you can learn from it. Really is that amazing. Check it out. CataractCoach.com. Techniques to open DMEC grafts. Courtesy of Dr. Peter Veldman from the University of Chicago. This is a great video. You have to learn from Dr. Veldman. Watch this. He's going to insert a DMET graft here. So decimate membrane endothelial keratoplasty. And it goes in the eye nice and easy. There's the Jones tube right up against the incision. Using the second uh, hand to flatten out the anterior chamber by tapping on that paracentesis. With that lower anterior chamber pressure, this graft wants to stay in place a little bit better. Notice the Jones tube is still there at the incision. Tapping right in the center of it to send little fluid waves across helps to open the graft. Again, flatten out the anterior chamber a little bit more. Tap in the center, and look how that graft just opens up. A little bit more tapping. That looks good, unfolding the edges. Now just gonna tap it over into position. You see the letter F there, that F mark shows the orientation is correct. The graft is in its correct position, not upside down. It looks like it's pretty well centered. Just a little more deflating of the eye, slowly taking out the tube there, and just a little left to unscroll, tapping it here, and wow, that was so easy. I wish it was always that easy in real life. I wish it was always that easy. So we've got to learn these common confirmations and how to open them. The scroll, the double scroll, the simple fold, inverted, tacos, edge fold, bouquet formation, and even the origami. And all these, Dr. Veldman has a beautiful explanation and a video of how to solve it. Let's start with the scroll. So you tap perpendicular to the end of the scroll. That'll send a fluid wave down it to open it. You can tap centrally and vertically aligned with the long axis, skewing the tapping to one end or the other. And if it's tight, you may even use a Fogler candela to insert and inject some BSS. Let's watch a video of this. So again, light tapping motion send fluid waves right down the middle, and those help to open up the scroll. 
and you can notice that technique. Now, for a simple fold, the Dury Samer technique is used. That's where the red cannula is being held stationary to apply a little bit of compressive force, and the green cannula is the dynamic one. The tap, tap, taps just to send small fluid waves to help open up the graft, and this works very well. Let me show you a video of that. So again, the one cannula to hold still, and the other one to tap, tap, tap on the fluid, and it opens it right up. Wow, that's a neat trick. The double scroll. All you have to do here is just tap down right on the center, and that'll send fluid waves along both sides and open up both scrolls. So that's what we saw at the beginning of the surgery. So tapping here right in the center sends the fluid waves to the sides, and it opens right up. So that's really revolutionary. Inverted. You have to inject a small amount of BSS and little bursts along the iris plane, and that'll help flip it over. And check out the technique. If you maintain a shallow anterior chamber, the graft remains unscrolled. So don't let the AC pressure build up. So here you see it's up to, upside down. A little bit of injection of fluid flips it right over. The taco now, it depends. If the smaller side is on top, it's slightly more difficult. Start with the dirty samer. If the smaller side is on the bottom, the graft may be inverted. So jet some BSS along it. And 50-50 taco... It's very difficult to open. So let's watch a video of this. So there's the taco formation, sending a little bit of a fluid wave across and then tapping it gently here and then getting it to open up using the Dury Samer technique here. There it is and it unrolls. What about an edge fold? Now to open this, slowly indent the cornea peripheral to the edge. That's where the orange cannula is. And then quickly release. The Dury Samer technique with the red cannula and the green cannula definitely works. You can just tap with the green cannula. You can burp aqueous from an existing wound shown with that third gray cannula to allow fluid to e exit. If the fold is very small and the graft is centered, just go ahead and place a moderate gas size bubble and that may open it up. So again, watching here, there's the edge fold and many different techniques can be used trying to push fluid along it, get it to open up. There you go. And that worked beautifully here. So trying these techniques in a stepwise manner. The bouquet, important here to know where to work. You want to work at the open end of the bouquet, not the tightly closed end. And starting there, tap directly down to the center of the graft along that axis, and again, skewing it towards the open end. And this will allow fluid wave to go down there and open it up. So watch this, here's a bouquet. And so light tapping of the fluid and you get those fluid waves across. Origami. This is a very confused looking graph, right? So we deepen the anterior chamber with BSS through the para. And then using the BSS current and the space created to help reorient the graph. You can tap alongside it with that green cannula to help straighten things out. And that tends to work quite well. From this, you'll go to a different configuration, which you can then solve. So let's watch this one. 50-50 taco. So attempting a roll with BSS, now it looks like origami. So tap the long axis on either side. Tap, tap, tap. Now you got a, a simple fold. What do we do there? The Dury Saber technique, holding pressure with one cannula and tapping with the other. And then we, a little bit more fluid going in there, holding pressure there, tapping with the other. There's the Dury Saber technique. And now you have a little bit of an edge fold, just release the fluid. Push and release, a little simple taps, and that opens it right up. So that was a neat video clip from uh, Dr. Velvin showing that you can combine all these techniques, the taco to the origami to the fold to the edge folds, all at once. Now let's look at that beginning case I showed you, but let's start with the loading of the graft. And this is a really great trick from Dr. Velvin, which is start off in a great configuration. So he's drawing up fluid. This is balanced salt solution. And this is the graft in the Jones tube. And he's drawing it back and pushing it down. And he's doing it over and over in order to get the desired configuration. So not quite, trying again. And he'll get a beautiful double fold. Ah, look at that. Now that's gonna make life a lot easier. So now this is what I showed you at the beginning of the case. When you already start off with it in the correct orientation and with a double scroll here 
At the beginning of the case, you make the case so efficient. This is how there are advanced and experienced corneal surgeons who can do this whole procedure in just a few minutes. So now the graft is going in the eye, it already looks darn good, releasing some balanced salt solution from the paracentesis. Now, important to hold the Jones tube at the incision. If you don't and you flatten out that incision, you may get the graft shooting right out the incision and outside the anterior chamber. And you don't want that. So hold in the graft there, just a light tapping motion here. Now, the catch is you got to be a dang good surgeon for this because your right hand is tied up holding the Jones tube. Only the left hand is doing all the manipulation. But you see here, able to really get the graft nicely unfolded, just gentle tapping, that looks great. And once it's in good position here and you're pretty happy with it, keep the anterior chamber flat, remember that, let's release some fluid, and now pull out the Jones tube. There you go, the graft unrolls, and that was a beautiful case. Thank you, Dr. Veldman. I am a huge fan of your work. That was beautiful. We want to learn from you also. Go to cataractcoach.com, click on the link, submit your video. I want to learn from your techniques. I'm here to learn just like you. Please submit your video. And thanks for watching.